Hey guys, this guide is going to show you how to start raking in tons of currency from the moment you install the game. As long as you are at least decent at the fishing minigame, you should be able to unlock all the poles and at least all the base characters within the first couple hours. I'm not going to tell you to do it all in one sitting, but some people like to fish, so who am I to judge? Now hit your hollow house button and pick whichever idol you wish. None of the idols have any advantage in fishing as far as I know, it's just mostly your aesthetic choice. Now that you're inside here, this is your little fishing pond, it's where you do all your work. I already have all the rods at the start of this video, but for the beginner you're going to start with, well, the beginner rod. You can purchase more over here at Bloop's Fish Shop. Since they're already bought for me, I'm going to have a pop up a uh, quick price list to show you how much each of them are. You can pause it at any point if you need to see which of the prices are. Now that you have your rod, head over and start to fish by timing the inputs in the little circle. You'll have little friends join you around the pond and they'll fish up things alongside you. You can actually take the fish that pop up and sell them. There's an achievement that it calls it stealing, but you know what? That's It is what it is. You trade them at Bloop's Fish Shot for sand. Then you can exchange the sand one for one for coins, which is what you use to purchase all your gotcha stuff. Just be mindful, you need to have the sand to purchase the rods. Now to show you some of the rod differences. The beginner's rod allows you to catch shrimp, clownfish, and tuna. The little exclamation point that pops up above your head denotes how difficult the catch is going to be. I actually lucked out on the first one of these. It's going to be the most difficult tuna one. I'm just going to show you the first chain 50. It takes about seven minutes. I did this a couple times for each rod just to give you a rough average. For the beginner rod, after my 50 chain, which took about seven minutes, uh, I was pulling in about 20k on each of my runs. The next rod up is Dad's rod. You buy it for 5,000 sand. This allows for koi fish, lobster, and eels. Ignore that bad. But for this 50, I was pulling in a little bit more. I actually managed to crank out about 30,000. Next is the blacksmith made rod. You buy this for 15,000 sand. This allows for puffer fish and manta rays to be added into the pool. I kind of picked 50 chain just because I didn't want to spend hours and hours just showing you different average runs. But it's much easier to get higher and you catch much, much more fish the higher chain you get. The blacksmith rod I was pulling in about... Uh, what did we get? I think this was actually a decent jump. We made about 50k. Uh, the three runs had averaged out to be about. Next is the Atlantean rod at 50,000 sand. This adds turtles and squid. The blacksmith rod was a really nice jump. This was actually my first uh, golden fish. Goldfish run you add a hundred times their normal value. So instead of 50, that shrimp was worth 5,000. I didn't include that in any of the averages. My Atlantean rod runs were running about 60,000. Next up is the turkey rod. That was 250,000 sand. This adds sharks and axolotls. At no point for any of these rods I feel was more difficult or so much easier to use. Yeah, the Atlantean runs were probably about 80k each. The last rod, the golden rod, is a million sand. You can catch all the fish. This is just a quick list of everything. I had really high hopes and I'm hopefully it works better for you. I was a little... Uh, you know, I was expecting three, four hundred thousand early on, but 
for my just 50 chains, I was pulling in about 100K. Now, one of the big things is that your fishing cap will actually, uh, it caps out at a 70 chain. So that's as difficult as going to get. And that's what we really start getting the high chain fishing. And things start to get crazy. This is just a quick, I recorded a random one. I believe it was the Atlantean rod. But you'll see me pull in 20k worth of fish in a matter of 20 seconds. <laughs> Just remember, if you're going to be switching rods, it will reset the chain. Now that you actually have all your uh, sand switch over money, it's time to go wild with upgrades and start pulling gotchas. So you got all your enhancements, your stat upgrades, and the other little bonuses you want. And pull all of your idols. Basically, just good luck with all your pulls. And just remember to have some fun. This is a real gem of a game. And it's free. It's insane. Alrighty. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a good time. Thank you.